Now, Melanie, I want to talk to you about this. You had quite the weekend. Uh, this is you here, Melanie C, on stage with Chris Martin and Coldplay <laughs> at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. This went everywhere. How did this come about? Oh, well, there was a great gig on, actually, at the Hollywood Bowl, and I was dying to go. I wanted to take my little girl. There was loads of artists she yeah. loves there. And I knew the boys were playing. And I know you know Chris, right? A little bit, yeah. Well, everybody little bit knows too. everybody except me. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> No, well, you know Chris, right? I think, sure. it, I think it's a British connection. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah. what it is. I miss sorry. Wimbledon, sorry. <laughs> Wimbledon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, so Chris calls you up. So, well, I, I just dropped in line to say, hey, we're going to be in, probably won't see you, obviously, it's difficult times. Yeah. And he just said, hey, do you want to come on stage with us? And I was like, uh, -huh. no brainer. So, yeah, yeah. he FaceTimed me. I'd taken my daughter up to a nail salon in North Hollywood, and we were sitting there, it was very busy, and a FaceTime call comes through, and Chris Martin's on the phone. Wow. So, as all 12 year olds do, my daughter goes, Oh, <laughs> oh what? She was so annoyed. Oh, she yeah. was annoyed that you were yeah. going to be singing at the Hollywood Bowl. She was annoyed that I was receiving a call from Chris Martin in a public place. Right. She thought it was very embarrassing. Chris didn't mind at all. No, of course. He was happy. And did you enjoy it? It must have been incredible being uh, up there on stage. It was amazing. I mean, what an incredible band. What an incredible venue. So oh, it was it's an beautiful. Honor. Yeah. Mm. I mean, now one thing both of you have in common is that you were both outrageously famous. <laughs> in the 90s. Like, it was... In the 90s. No, I mean... 90s only. <laughs> no, 90s still now, but, like, the, it was, it were, like, you both... It felt like you were both part of absolute things that were sort of cultural staples at that time. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think being famous in the 90s was more fun than it is being famous now? I don't know. I, I, I really think, for me, it was about the posture. People today their posture is all down like they're all like this like they're looking at their phones right yeah so oh, like back that. in the 90s we didn't we didn't have those phones or we didn't have that so everybody was up it was correct so for me it was a better posture back in the 90s everybody was correct they felt good about themselves they were present they were in a conversation now it's like down and you're this and you're looking at that and your neck's forward and then look at the <laughs> side you just look like this hump it's <laughs> like a troll coming yeah. at you so it's very fearful these days but i for the 90s i would say Posture for me was one of the biggest things that I I really enjoyed the posture. Wow. I think it does. I think a lot of it does start with posture. I think that's actually quite right. a stupid point. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, that's why it was more fun because <laughs> people were up and looking around. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, what do you think? What do you think? Was you know it more what? fun being famous now or back then? I think there was less pressure back then. Yeah. You yeah. know, because we didn't have social media. People right. didn't have cameras on their phones, yeah. so we got up to so much mischief that mm. no one ever knew about. Mm. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you did. Yes, we did. <laughs>